Hey guys, Pharaoh here. Um, I know we're a little late with the Victor video, but that's mostly because of holidays and all that cool jazz. But uh, now that we're back, we're going to get right into this and do the Victor video as quickly as possible because we have a lot of other projects that we're working on for the new year. So uh, first off with Victor, is he worth 6300 And I'm going to go ahead and say no right away. We're just going to do this as quickly as possible. Um, Victor has a lot of things going for him. He has a lot of different um, aspects to his kit that give him a lot of different elements. But the problem with that is that right now he's a jack of all trades, master of none. He's got a really good poke. He's got a really good AP bruiser aspect. He's got good lane control and good zone control. But right now none of that means anything because he kind of has a little bit of everything and not enough of one thing to make him a good pick. You know, if you're picking him for poke, why wouldn't you pick, say, Zera? Why wouldn't you pick um, Anivia for better zone control? You know, different things like that. Good laner, why wouldn't you pick Rise? Uh, what I think he's doing right now is he kind of is supposed to be a counter for a mid-range champions. And if you look at the mid-range AP casters, right now those are going to be someone like Morgana, someone like Cassidy, and someone like Rise. They kind of control their lane and they're a huge problem at pretty much every rating. And I think that the intention with his Q and with his kit in general is that he's supposed to be punishing for the mid-range AP casters, and he's supposed to be able to deal with them much better than all the other characters out right now. And I feel like he falls short of that, mostly because of a couple problems in his laning phase. Those problems are mostly tied down to his Q. Um, his Q is probably the single most effective ability in the game. It's a medium cooldown nuke, but it has a low range. Um, it gives you a movement speed it boost if you augment it and uh, gives you a shield. Now, theoretically, it should be quite simply the best ability because it's only like 50 units short of all, all the other you know mid-range nukes. And the base damage is good, the scaling is decent. So what's the problem with it? Well, the problem is that if you don't augment it, it just becomes kind of a lackluster ability. You know, it's got a longer cooldown than it should for, say, a dedicated AP nuker. Uh, the shield doesn't come back to you fast enough to actually be able to trade effectively. So if you're laning against someone who can trade effectively, you're pretty much just going to get dumped on because every time you go into trade, they're going to outrange you and then back away. Now, when you're laning against someone who is you know not thinking clearly and they don't go boots first and you do then you're automatically you're just going to walk on like he, there's a video oh, there's a clip in here about me landing against morgana i completely destroy her because i went boots first and she didn't now that just kind of happens and i think that's the intention of the character but right now he needs those small tweaks to his early game to make him actually be a good mid-range counter um he has a small problem with uh, his augment in the mid game. And that problem is that the itemization, the, the cost for the augment, isn't made up for in the itemization. So you're essentially paying for your passive. He basically has a gold deficit compared to any other AP carry. And that's not a good thing at all. So if you look at, um, let's say, death. death. Augment death is the best augment for late game actually AP carrying. Like that's hands down it's the only way that he gets any any semblance of decent scaling. Um, even that augment with the cost changes is not cost effective. Uh, it's a thousand gold for 45 ability power compared to say 860 gold for 40 ability power from a blasting wand. Like you're barely going into cost efficiency and that's that's the best augment for cost efficiency. If you look at Augment Power, which is the other one that I have had a lot of experience with, it's like a thousand gold for 200 and something HP and six health regen. Like, health regen is a terrible stat outside of laning phase, and you can't buy the Augment in laning phase because then you're going to be too far behind. Um, you know, the stats on power are just not worth it as far as an item slot goes. It's not even a mid tier item. and the gold value of the stats in general, it doesn't even add up to like 700 gold worth of stats on augment power. So I'm going to say that that's a big problem with him, which is that if you go for the augment and you need the augment for the abilities to be worth it, um, then you end up 
in a gold deficit. Now, uh, the item slot itself is actually not a big deal. You know, I don't mind that. I don't mind giving up the item slot because the power is really good. But the rest of it is kind of a problem if you look at, you know, actually having to make a choice. Because his laser is kind of unimpressive unless you augment it. If you do augment it, it has the highest base damage of any spell in the game. And, uh, any, sorry, non-ultimate spell in the game. And if you uh, augment his Q, then he becomes very good at, like, chasing and nuking and juking. He actually becomes one of the best mage duelists in the game if you augment his Q. But going back to the laser, sorry. Um, augmenting the laser is a big deal because that's the only way he gets a decent scale. His Q has like 0.6, his E has like 0.7, and his ultimate has like 0.45 with 0.2 constant. And that adds up to not a lot of burst. His cooldowns are too long for him to be a sustained damage dealer. And the problem here is that he's supposed to be kind of tanky, which is, you know, his, that's why he has a shield on his Q, which puts him in the same category as Rise and Swain, as far as, you know, what the character should do. And he just falls short. That's it. Like, he just falls short of those characters. He doesn't do as much damage. He doesn't tank as well. He's got a little bit more mobility, and that's cool. And he's got a little bit more utility, which is also cool but his actual damage output is not there. He'll probably do fine in like a double AP setup, but really like I wouldn't pick him over say Kennen in a double AP setup or Gragas or Ari, like those are just strictly better. Um and he certainly doesn't beat any of the top tiers like Zerith or Morgana or Cassidan or Rise. So like why why pick Zer why pick Victor? You you wouldn't. That's why. Like, that's that's the point of this video right now, is that you wouldn't pick him. He's good, and he's fun, and you can do a lot of really fun things with him, but he's not worth picking over other characters. Um, for, for runes and masteries, I've done, like, pure AP setup, I've done pure tank, I've done pure utility, and uh, I've found the most success to be with uh, the pure AP. And uh, I've done Augment Death, I've done Augment Power. I really like Augment Death because it's the only way that you can actually have a real lane presence early. Uh, it's the only way that you can keep up with another AP carry that you're laning against. And it actually gives him a lot of strength as far as like actual damage from his, from his laser. Uh, runes, I've done Movement Speed Quince, I've done Spell Vamp Quince, and I've done flat AP quince, and I like the movement speed the most because I find his movement speed to be the most important. So standard AP carry build, I usually do start boots, three health potions. Um, if I'm doing augment power, I'll do one Doran's blade, or one Doran's ring, and if I do augment death, I'll do two Doran's rings. Um, if I'm doing augment death, I'll go one Doran's augment, one Doran's death cap. If I'm doing Augment Power, I'll do Double Doran's Augment Power. So, and then into Death Cap. Uh, usually I go Tanky after that, you know, just Rylize, uh, Hourglass, just cool stuff. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Like, the character's kind of cut and dry. He's got a lot of bugs right now that are kind of limiting his playstyle, but I think if we see that cleaned up, he could actually be really, really 